Hello. And with us today, we are talking about open enrollment with our open enrollment expert, Kelly Rhodes Poston. Hi, welcome everybody. This is the first of many Facebook Live talks. We'll be focusing on different topics, different parts of open enrollment throughout the open enrollment series. So please feel free to write your questions in the comments and I will answer as many questions as possible. I do have some notes here. I want to make sure I hit everything. So if I miss anything, feel free to just drop me a line. So what is open enrollment? People call it all different things. Open enrollment is that time of year when working with your employer or Medicare that you can make changes to your health plan choices. So right now we'll be, we're coming up on CalPERS open enrollment. So all of those people that are employed by the state of California. So people that work at California State Prison, Solano County, um, where else? Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District, you all have CalPERS insurance. So CalPERS insurance starts September 20, or their open enrollment period starts September 21st, and it goes through October, now I'm gonna forget, October 15th. So open enrollment is the time that you can make your selection of which health plan you're going to have for the following calendar year, and it lasts all year long. Of course, obviously, I work for North Bay Healthcare. So why choose North Bay Healthcare? Well, I have a whole laundry list of reasons, but one of the many reasons is all of our primary care doctors, they are, almost all of them are accepting new patients. We have open practices. Our specialists, our primary cares are taking new patients. We offer same day appointments. Maybe you didn't know that, but you can call the appointment line and they offer same day appointments. And also we have our urgent care center. You could get same day appointments. We have locations that are near you. For primary care, we have offices in Green Valley, in the middle of Fairfield off of Waterman Road and in Vacaville. Our specialists also have offices all between Fairfield and Vacaville. And another big feather in our cap, if you don't know already, North Bay Healthcare is part of the Mayo Care Clinic Network. What does that mean? That means if you need a second opinion, if you have a, a, a rare condition, we call it that rare zebra, and you need to be referred to the Mayo Care Clinic Network, you work with a specialist here at North Bay Healthcare, and they will refer over to Mayo Clinic. You don't have to travel, you don't have to get on a plane. They work with the doctors, they send all your information over to Mayo. Mayo reviews your charts, and then they send back their responses to our specialists. You still maintain your relationship with your North Bay Healthcare Specialist, but you're getting the advice of the Mayo Care Clinic Network. There's no charge to you. There's no charge to your insurance company. This is free to you as a North Bay Healthcare patient. And of course, North Bay Healthcare also offers video visits. We're a very safe place to come. We know, of course, COVID is here and affecting all of us. But we have vis video visits with our primary care, with our specialists. But should you choose to come in, your doctor will see you in person and our offices are absolutely safe. We've been wiping down, your temperature will be taken as you enter the building to make sure you don't have any conditions. You'll be given a mask if you don't have one already, but we do ask to, that you bring in your masks and your doctor will treat you. All right, we want you to make sure you still get your care. Please don't refrain from getting care. We have put in all practices to maintain a very safe and, and comfortable office for you to get your care. So why choose North Bay? Come to North Bay if you need your care. You say, okay, what if I'm changing from another health plan to your health plan? And now I have to choose all new doctors. How do I do that? I get that question all the time. I probably get five phone calls a day just saying, I need to pick a new doctor. How do I do that? There's lots of different ways. One of the ways I recommend is ask your friends, ask your neighbors. They will, everybody will have a different opinion. Start thinking about, do you want a male? Or do you want a female doctor? Do you want an older or younger? Does their, where they got their medical degree make a difference to you? Go to North Bay's website at www.northbay.org. And all of our doctors have a written profile and a video profile. It gives you an idea of what they're like, how they talk, what they sound like. And if you're still a little confused, call me or email me. You can always call me, email me at askkelly at northbay.org. Give me your phone number. Let me know what time is best to call you. And let's have a phone conversation and talk about what kind of doctor you're looking for. 
that's part of my job is to know these doctors and to help match up the doctor that matches your style. Some doctors have a laugh that just can shake the whole building. Some doctors are a little more reserved. They're all human, just like you and I. So tra choosing your new doctor, you've picked one. Now how do you get your records from that health plan or that other organization over to us? At your first visit with North Bay Healthcare, they'll have you sign paperwork that, says, that gives them the authorization to contact your doctor and get your records transferred. Some other medical groups may give you a CD, they may give you a flash drive to transfer your records. Lots of different ways to get those records, but we'll have you sign that authorization form on your first visit. When will the new plan start? Well, if you're a CalPERS member, your health plan choice will take effect January 1, 2021. For if you're with a different employer and you have your own open enrollment time period, be sure to check with your HR department on when that plan will start. Most of them are going to start January 1, and then you'll be in that health plan for the full year. One of the other mo very common questions I get is, what's an HMO and what's a PPO? So I'll give a very generic answer, and feel free to write your questions if you have them in the comments. An HMO stands for Health Maintenance Organization. And what that means is with your health plan, they will have a very strict network of doctors that you can see. And that means that with that network of doctors, you must see doctors and hospitals within that list if you want the health insurance plan to pay. No if, ands, or buts, except for an emergency. And so check with your health plan regulations. Usually most health plans, you will be, if you go to an emergency room anywhere, they will cover it. If you go into the emergency room and try to get your annual physical, well, that's not an emergency. They won't cover that. But if you go to an emergency room and, um, and you know, heaven forbid, you think you're having chest pain, for example, you just feel like you can't breathe, you go in, think, and it ends up being um, gas. Actually, that's more common than you know. <laughs> it ends up being gas, and they let you go. You know what? You thought it was an emergency. That would be covered by your health plan. So in an emergency, go to the nearest emergency room. Otherwise, in an HMO, you need to use a set list. What's a PPO? That stands for Preferred Provider Organization. And what that means is your health plan is going to have a list of doctors in network that are in network, and then they're gonna have a list of doctors that are out of network. So those doctors that are in network, your health plan is going to pay a higher percentage of the bill. If you go to a doctor that is out of the network, your health plan is going to pay a lower percentage of the bill. Now that list can change any and all times. The health plan expects you, as a patient, to be responsible for constantly checking whether your doctor is in or out of that network. That's a very short and sweet version uh, or explanation. If you have more questions about that, please feel free to let me know. So plan options. I'm going to focus on CalPERS now for CalPERS employees or Cal people that receive insurance through CalPERS. CalPERS, you have lots of health plan choices. One of the ones that we like to bring your attention to is Western Health Advantage. It's one of the most affordable in the, of all your choices. Western Health Advantage has a large network of providers and North Bay Healthcare is one of them. In fact, we have two new medical groups that just joined our network specifically through Western Health Advantage. And they, we now have doctors also in Winters. The Winters Healthcare Group is also with North Bay Healthcare for Western Health Advantage and in Benicia. So if you're in either one of those areas and you're like, wow, I really wanted Western Health Advantage, but I didn't think there was a doctor available to me in my area, in Benicia and Winters there is now, and of course all of Fairfield and Vacaville. So Western Health Advantage is one of your health plan choices through CalPERS. There are lots of other HMOs, but at this time North Bay is not in those networks. So we encourage you to take a look at the Western Health Advantage HMO. If you're looking for PPO plan options through CalPERS, we are in network for all of their PPO plan choices, and that includes Purse Choice, Purse Cares, Purse Select. North Bay Healthcare is a preferred provider with all of those PPOs. And there's a few other ones in there, but um, if you have questions about them, we are in those networks, but feel free to call me should you have questions. 
other employers. You say, Kelly, what are you talking about? I'm not with CalPERS, I'm with employer XYZ. And when is my open enrollment? You need to talk to your HR department and ask them when your open enrollment is and what your plan choices are. They will usually offer you anywhere from one to three different plan choices. And we may or may not be in network for your offering. So feel free to give me a call. Those are just some bullet points about open enrollment that I wanted to address. And I'll take questions now. And just a reminder, if you're tuning in, you can ask a question just by hitting the comment button and typing it in. And we'll pass that along to Kelly to answer. We set up a few here ourselves. Um, so what if I sign up for a plan and then I decide mm, I don't like it? Am I stuck for a year until the next open enrollment season? That's a great question. So you sign up for a plan and you turn in your paperwork and it starts January 1 and you say, not your style, now what? Actually, you are stuck for the whole year until the next open enrollment. There's a few exceptions and they're called qualifying life events, such as you move out of area, you move to a different location, and now you need to change your health plan. Talk to your human resources and they will tell you what your plan options are. But for the most part, yes, you are tied in for that year. Okay. How do I know if my doctor is in my plan? How will you know if your doctor is in your plan? Great question. There's a couple different ways to check. One is to go to the website for that health plan and to see if that your doctor is listed as one of the um, participating doctors. Two is you can call me. I know most of the plans and most of the doctors by heart. And you say, hey, I wanna know if you know Dr. Miller is part of a, a Western Health Advantage. By the way, the answer is yes. So, Yes, you can always call me if you want to double check, but go to the health plan choice or also visit our website and to see if we're in that network. Okay. What if an employee wants to make a change to their election after open enrollment is over, but before the plan year has started? Because there's usually a little gap in there, right? That is a great question and a, and a challenging one. So it's going, the question was, you make your health plan choice and then the year hasn't started, so it hasn't taken effect yet but now you wanna make some changes to your elections. What do you do? Talk to your HR. That one is gonna be very specific to your HR department. If you're CalPERS, I can tell you once you turn in your paperwork and that open enrollment time period stops, you're done. There's no more election changes unless there's a qualifying event, of course. There's an exception to everything. Good questions. Yeah. Um, what if someone doesn't enroll for benefits during the open enrollment but decides later in your year that they do want coverage? Do they also have to wait for a qualifying event or? Great question. So you missed your open enrollment period, let's say, and now the new year starts and you say, oh, I missed it, I wanna sign up. Talk to your human resources again for usually um, stating, yes, you have to wait till the next open enrollment period unless there's a qualifying event again. Okay. Um, could you explain how deductibles work? Because I know that a lot of these plans have, they'll say a high deductible. What does that mean and how does a deductible work? Great question. Deductibles confuse so many people and oftentimes people will get on a high deductible plan and they think they get it, but then they don't when, they, when it actually comes through. So a deductible means that is the part that you as a patient, as a member of the health plan, are responsible for before the health plan pays anything. So let's say you have a $100 deductible and you go see the doctor and the bill is $200. The insurance company is gonna say, we don't pay until you pay. You pay your first 100 and then once you pay the 100, we'll pay the other 100. So it's the amount you have to pay out of pocket before the health plan will begin to pay. Okay, we have a question from Sue, and thank you, Sue, for joining us. She's asking, what type of plans do you offer for folks who currently have original Medi-Cal A and B? Do you have Medicare Advantage? Ah, I gotta read this question, sorry, folks. Let's see more. I can't read the rest of the question for some reason. Let's start with, what Med do we offer for people with Medicare? Great. A and B. Well, thanks for the question, Sue. Um, so this session, when I was focusing a little bit more on 
uh, CalPERS and people that are still working. For people on Medicare, I actually have a webinar or a Facebook Live talk just for Medicare. To answer your question, yes, we are part of the Medicare Advantage plans. In 2020, right now, there are a few Medicare Advantage plans already in our zip code. They are licensed by zip code by the federal government. Coming up for 2021, I'd say watch your mail. There are ones that will be entering your market. We're not allowed to talk about it yet. Uh, marketing starts for those October 1st. But for 2020, I can tell you we are part of United Healthcare Secure Horizons product and Anthem Blue Cross uh, LPPO MediBlue Medicare Advantage product. But like I said, there will be new plans that will begin marketing on October 1st and take a look at that. Also visit our website and we will have all the new plans up there. Um, the new plans marketing again starts October 1st. Feel free to call me or email me and I'll be giving those numbers at the end of this. Great question, Sue. And I was able to see the rest of it. She was asking about Medicare Advantage programs. Um, what if your spouse's company holds an open enrollment in October and your plan's open enrollment is in December? Can your spouse drop their plan in October and join your plan even though it isn't your company's open enrollment time yet? That does is that a great, sense? yes. It's kind of complex. It right? is a complex and that does happen. You do need to uh, coordinate between the two companies. So the short answer, yes. So they're asking, okay, let's say Joe and Mary Joe has typically covered the family under his plan. Now they're going to change to Mary's plan. Joe's open enrollment is October. Mary's isn't till December. Can Joe elect to say, I'm going to stop mine and I'm going to join on to Mary's in December? Yes, that can be done. And then everybody would be on Mary's plan starting in January. Coordinate with your human resources with both companies to make sure there's no lapse in coverage, of course. But okay. that's a great question and a complicated one. Whew. Yeah, complicated. <laughs> How do you find out um, if your doctor, oh, I think we've kind of covered it. If your doctor accepts your health plan, that's going to be listed in it'll websites. Be, and It'll be on the website. Definitely check North Bay's website. We will always have that up to date. That's northbay.org, and we have accepted health plans. So check our website, see if your plan is there. If you don't see it listed, feel free to email me. There's an email link on there or call me. Um, or you can also check the health plans website and we should be listed there. Okay, piggy, piggybacking off of Sue's question, if you have a health plan and also have Medicare coverage, which one pays first? <laughs> that is a very good question. If you have Medicare and you're still working, which health plan pays first? It's a little hard to answer because it's going to depend how you choose that other health plan. But if I can try to break it down, and example one will be you're still working, so you take Medicare, or you're still working, so you only take Medicare Part A. Your company offers a health insurance, and you take that insurance. Your health, uh, your where you work, I'm sorry, where you work will be the primary payer, and then Medicare would be secondary. Typically speaking, when people are still working and they have Medicare, you only need Medicare Part A. There's there's three parts to Medicare. There's Medicare Part A which covers hospital insurance, Medicare Part B, which covers outpatient provider offices, and Medicare Part D, which covers prescription coverage. Medicare Part B, there is a charge for it. So that's why we say if you're still working, there's no reason to pay for that Part B, just take your employer's insurance. I think that answers the question. Did, did I get all of it right? I think so. Okay. And, um, you know, if people have more questions, this post will live. So you can always post them on there. Absolutely. Or you can call Kelly. We're almost out of time here. So, um, and th we want you to know that if you didn't see all of this one or you, you wanted to be in and have questions on another subject, we're going to be doing a series of these Facebook Live chats with Kelly. Yeah. So you'll have a chance and to ask your questions. And then also for Medicare, I'll let you know, starting in October, we'll have webinars specifically for all the Medicare plans. So be sure to follow our, our website. And for those of you who have questions, here's my contact information. Robin's going to try to zoom in. If my camera will cooperate. There you go. And so just be sure to ask Kelly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.